Today is April 20th, 2019. I have to introduce my mom back there. Hey mom. She's gonna be the camera woman here for just a second because I'm gonna introduce you to my younger brother's truck. He has a 1954 Ford F100 that is fully restored, but it's something very custom and very unique that I think you'll get a kick out of. So let's go check it out. So there's the pickup truck. I'm gonna go grab uh, Blake from Speed Tech who did the build and we'll ask him a few questions. All right, this is uh, the 1954 Ford F100. I know this is Blake, by the way, from Speed Tech here in St. George, Utah. A little bit of background noise, give him a second. Uh, this is a BMW color, right? So Correct, yeah. Do you know what that called? called? Uh, if I recall, it's Rockfish Blue. Rockfish Blue. I don't know if this camera will hear anything we're saying, but this car, uh, truck started out as a project. It was in my brother's back parking lot for a couple of years, just kind of getting rotted by the sun. And then at some point he had the inspiration to go get started on rebuilding it. So Blake, tell us a little bit about what's going on under the hood, first of all. Come on in. So under the hood, we've got a brand new Corvette LT4 motor with the uh, eight speed automatic that goes along with it as a, a connect and cruise package, 650 horsepower. Uh, the truck sits on one of our custom uh, F100 frames that we build and sell. And so we kind of just started there, started yeah. with the chassis and then, and then it got carried away. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's easy to do that on a project truck. What about the transmission? What is that? Uh, what are the specs on that? So it's a GM 8-speed, okay. same, same transmission that's in the CTSV, right. essentially. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great piece. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty Let's amazing. Let's take a walk around real quick. Yeah. Look at some of the fancy footwork. I know he's got some really extreme wheels on this. Um, Blake says it actually drives pretty nice, despite the fact that it's set up from a performance, you know, stance perspective, pretty low of the ground. There's the interior. What did we put these seats in out of, Blake? So they're uh, 2016 Mustang seats with a Mustang center console. Cool. And then we did a custom dash pad to kind of emulate the Mustang dash pad to kind of tie it all together. I see that. Very cool. It's got a form uh, one-piece headliner. Wow. That. Uh, little trade secret we yeah. we actually take the cab and we flip it upside down and we put uh, two-part foam in it oh yeah and then carve the foam then fiberglass it and then just glue Custom the headliner right to it yeah so would you say this build is pretty much done or are there still a few things you guys want to tinker with uh i think we're pretty pretty done it just yeah. needs to get some miles on it yeah and, you know, i think i can help with that little, uh, <laughs> little touch ups here and there but I heard it's going to Vegas for a show next week or yeah. two weeks from now. LS Fest, yeah. So it's going to yeah. an LS Fest. It is a bit of a non-typical Ford build, being that it's powered by Chevy, but I think a lot of people can still appreciate it for Nobody the custom truck me. that it is. So over. we'll do a walk around uh, here, but uh, thanks, Blake. Appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Come on over. All right. There's some of the close-up of the wheels and tires. I don't know what the payload is on this thing, but it probably won't be hauling much in its lifetime from here on out. Mom, do you want to take it for a spin? Grab the keys. Okay. <laughs> this is, by the way, the Hurricane. It's, pre it's spelled Hurricane, but if you say Hurricane, you, they know you're not a local. Hurricane Easter Car Show. It's a tradition here every year, Easter weekend in southern Utah that I've been coming to since I grew up not too far down the road. By the way, this is my favorite car at the show. This is a barn find. Just pulled out of a barn after 20 years being there, not even washed. Wow. And to prove it, there's the registration sticker. 1999. 